So hi guys, so right now we will be upgrading your laptop, your old laptop with a 2.5 inch hard drive to an SSD. If you have a mechanical hard drive, this is a perfect tutorial for you para ma-upgrade yung laptop yung at mapabilis nyo. Kasi minsan kasi mahal masyado magbili ng laptop or mag-upgrade ng whole system. So this one, we're gonna breathe a new life doon sa ating laptop by installing your SSD. Okay, so if you don't know me, I'm Kurt and this is Homemade Engineering. I will teach you things that will help you in your life. Hopefully, you will enjoy and you will learn something here sa aking tutorial. So, let's start. So, ano ba yung advantages and disadvantages ng isang mechanical hard drive sa solid-state drive? So, ang SSD or solid state drive is actually from the name itself, solid state. Walang gumagalaw ng moving parts. Ibig sabihin yan, mas uh, less siya sa ano, uh, delay issues kasi walang moving masses. Okay. Marami tayong moving parts sa isang mechanical hard drive. So, it will be slower compared to a solid state. So, itong video na to ay para sa mga, sa mga hindi alam or hindi techie. Kasi sa mga techie, alam na alam yun na ano to. So, ang gagawin ko lang is mag to tutorial lang tayo how to upgrade your current or let's say old laptop to make it faster kasi medyo mabilis talaga basta SSD compared sa mechanical hard drive so ang kailangan nyo lang is uh, three things number one kailangan nyo lang uh, you just need a screwdriver ito uh, this one uh, you need a flash drive containing the windows uh, installer windows 10 na kasi tayo ngayon as of this day and wala tayong choice, no? Uh, except kung MacBook kayo, which is a different story naman. And your SSD. So, this is an ADATA 2.5 inches, 240GB, SU630. So, next pala, ang laptop nyo, um, ang kailangan nyo gawin talaga is check nyo ano yung laptop nyo. Kasi ito, this is a ThinkPad laptop from 2014 or 2015 na panahon. So, most likely, uh, mechanical hard drive pa. Kasi yung mga latest ngayon, they use solid state na NVMe, they use uh, internal hard drives na may solid state na kaagad. Uh, ito kasi panahon na to, wala pa. Um, so, you must check sa nakalocate yung hard drive niya. Um, dito kasi, nakalocate to siya sa side niya. Kasi, I really like uh, ThinkPads kasi napaka uh, upgradable naman nila. Nasa sides lang ang hard drive or nasa ilalim. Uh, you may check your laptop kasi iba kasi ang kanilang hard drive sa loob pa kailangan nyo pang uh, baklasin yung keyboard or baklasin nyo pa yung ano yung likod nyan or sa ilalim kasi uh, iba kasi walang slot dedicated para sa hard drive so ginagawa nila um, internal na lahat pati ang battery pati ang everything so ito external battery to so gagawin yung unang una tatanggan yung battery so how to remove the battery make it in the unlock position remove the battery okay store this one carefully away again and then turn on your laptops turn on yung muna para makonsume yung power niya pag hindi naman siya ano um ang tawag dito pag internal battery naman siya ang gagawin niya is you just turn it off okay um mas maganda kasi pag external kasi you can Swap it easily. Pag internal, minsan wala tayong choice, no? So, ayun lang. So, ngayon, um, again, hanapin nyo saan yung kanyang hard drive bay or hard drive port. Dito, nasa side to siya. Sa side. So, gagawin natin dyan is tatanggalin yung screw using our screwdriver. So, gamit ko flathead screwdriver. Mayroon na tayo isang screw. You may have two or more. Sa inyong hard drive, it may vary. So, gagawin ko lang, tatanggalin ko lang to. And then, um, there's a flap kasi dito sa ilalim. Tatanggalin ko lang yan. Yan. So, pag natanggal na yan, um, this is your mechanical hard drive. Mapapansin nyo pag mechanical siya dahil mabigat. the same time, um, all metal build. Tapos, usually, ganito yung tura niya. Okay. But, yung iba naman kasi, nakalagay na ano, may solid state, yung hi uh, hybrid type. So, yung mga ganun, um, watch out for that. Kasi baka... SSD na pala kayo. Hindi nyo, hindi nyo lang alam. So, check your manufacturer specs. So, after nyan, tatanggalin nyo ang kanya mga paraphernalia dito. Yung mga brackets niya or what. Using the screwdriver again. Yan. Oops. Make sure lang na yung screws nyo uh, hindi siya nawawala. 
you may use a magnet sa akin kasi um, four or five screws na to siya. So, halos you don't need ano, a magnet for this. For me ha, sa inyo you may use a magnet. And for those sa uh, hindi marunong mag ganito, no? um, patunan lang kayo sa anak nyo, sa kapatid nyo, sa kuya nyo na ano, may alam. Kasi most of the time, ngayong pandemic, dito lang nakakasa yung mga skills ng mga boomers or yung mga hindi techy kasi grabe kailangan mo talaga ng technology to interact or socialize in this stage. So ngayon, tinanggal ko na yung bracket. This is your mechanical hard drive. Meron siya spinning motor, meron siyang PCB. Usually ganun yan. So ngayon, ang gagawin dito is um, hindi to siya matatakwil, hindi to siya mawawala dahil uh, you will use what we call ano, a hard drive adapter for USB. So akin ito, uh, medyo 10 years old na to siya. 10 years old or 11 na ba to? You just ano, insert this one and connect sa USB cable and andun pa rin yung files nyo. Again, hindi mabubura files nyo. Um, bibili lang tayo ng bagong hard drive, mag-install ng bagong OS doon. At the same time, you will be safe. Okay? So, yun lang. Your files are safe. Ang gagawin nyo lang is, you must just get a new hard drive installed. So, ngayon, we have our new hard drive. This is a data. Um, SU630 So, meron tayong cutout dito Just uh, uh, Punch those in And then, I think Makukuha nyo na to Ayan. So, meron tayong mga specs dito no? Uh, but hindi ko mabasa Dahil in Chinese writing So, halos same na to sila lahat no? They have the same width, size And shape of your ordinary hard drive So, yeah. If you could see the ports, halos magkaparehas lang. Almost same, almost lahat. So, ang gagawin nyo is, you just set this aside, yung inyong hard drive. Uh, save that for later. Kasi meron tayong adapter for that para ma-access yung file. So, dito, ang gagawin dito is, ilalagay sa loob ng laptop at ito yung i -re reformat natin. Okay? Alright. So, ayan. So, gagawin ko is, insert lang ako. Okay. So, medyo nag-fit naman siya sa connector. So, I'll just ano, screw it all the way. Oops. Bad. Do not screw too tight ha. Kasi, yung iba kasi too tight, nasisira. Nalulose thread yung ano. Yung kanyang, oops, sabi ko nga. Nalulose thread yung kanyang thread doon sa loob ng hard drive. Okay. Hindi naman lahat metal, no. Ito kasi parang may pagka-plastic siya. So... Do not tight, over tighten it. So, yan. Uh, rubber covers dun sa hard drive and then we will insert it dun sa loob. Kasi pag nabaliktad nyo to, watch out. Hindi yan mag-insert. Okay? So, dapat proper location tayo and then, boom, inserted na. Yung flap niya, pwede nyo itago sa ilalim. We just have to hide it underneath dito sa ating malit na slot if ever kasha pa. Let's bring it up slightly. Ayan. So, napasok na natin. And kailangan natin screw pabalik yung cover. So, ngayon, ang SSD kasi walang laman. So, ang gagawin yun, lagyan natin ng laman yan. So, paano? Using our Windows installer. Pag hindi nyo alam paano mag-install ng Windows uh, sa isang flash drive or bootable uh, flash drive na Windows installer, uh, meron tayong mga tutorials sa YouTube. Search lang how to make, create a bootable Windows installer using flash drive. Um, so, ngayon, gagawin ko is insert ang battery. Carefully. Ito lang. Oh. Insert lang. And then, lalock ko lang. Okay? Then, I will install Windows with a charger. Ito. Later na to siya. If we install Windows, ma-access natin yung old files nyo. But for now, what we will do is, kailangan natin ng charger. So, open your laptops. Tapos, insert your flash drive sa ating USB port. So, saan pwede? Gusto ko USB 2.0 ng port. Ayoko yung USB 3 kasi para may complication ata siya. Um, di ako sure ha? Pero, USB 2 kasi yung ano, trusted. So, ang gagawin nyo is, para mag-install Windows, I-titilt ko lang ng konti para makita nyo sa camera. Um, 
turn on the power button tapos F9, 10, 11, 12, or F2. Hindi ako sure ha. Basta F9 nata yun. Try ko F9. Power it on, press F9. Mag-enter siya ng, ano, bootable menu niya. Alright. So, ngayon, uh, mag-install natin ng OS. O, okay, i-check natin yung English natin na pati United States. So, just click next. Install now. Accept the terms of license agreement. Next. Um, custom install kasi gusto natin mag-custom install. Dito is nakakuha na tayo ng um, ano, allocated space. So, gawa tayo new. Uh, apply. Tapos, just click OK sa partition natin. No? So, we have our ano, for partition. Just let it format. Format natin yan. Usually, fast format na yan. So, after yan, doon natin lalagay yung ating uh, windows. So, gagawin ko click next lang. So, ngayon, um, mag-install siya ng windows. So, medyo matagal ko ng process. We have to wait it out mga 30 minutes. So, as you can see, nasa Windows sa tayo, wala nang problema, no? Kasi, it already installed. Um, it's blazingly fast compared sa ina-expect ko. So, it's getting ready and all. So, hopefully, we could set up Windows. And in no time, we can install the other apps, especially uh, MS Office. Here, we're ready and it's really blazingly fast. I didn't expect this. Ay, ito kabilis. So, I think we're just gonna plug in some data na napaka-important. So, nag-restart siya another time. Um, this is normal, especially if you are reformatting your computer. It will restart several times to check its system. Uh, nothing big here, no? So, yeah. I think we're done. It's less than 30 minutes, actually, no? So, from the start and end, I'm just gonna remove this one. So, all you need is just a screwdriver, SSD, and kailangan nyo lang ng... Windows installer sa flash drive. Hindi nyo alam paano gawin to. Madaming online tutorials how to do this. So, yun lang. Napaka dali. Napaka easy. For those who are techie, alam nyo na to. Sa mga hindi pa familiar dito, hindi pa sana techie or mga boomers dyan na ginagamit na laptop constantly sa ating pandemic time. This is your, ano, your lesson. But here, we're back in Windows na desktop. So, I think we're done. Alright, so mga nagtatanong no, hindi pa tayo tapos. Uh, we have your old hard drive. So how do we transfer all your old files to your new system? So very simple. You must just use one of those uh, USB to SATA connectors or SATA drive uh, adapters. So you just buy one of these sa Shopee naman siya or Lazada or any online place or computer shop. They have this. Minsan kasi may enclosure pa yun. Nakit kasi wala. Parang nasira na. So ang gagawin ko is I just insert a USB cable dito and connect it to your laptop and you can access it via USB. As you all know, this is an SSD system but there are downsides as well. Number one, SSDs have a limited number of read and writes, uh, read and write cycles. So if you exceeded that number, it won't be as reliable as before. So when it fails, it fails catastrophically, say some SSD. You might not access its old file systems you might not access your old files. So that's why it's very important that you back up your files. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. Uh, please click that subscribe button, like and share this video sa mga friends nyo na gusto mag-upgrade ng laptop or at least gusto maka-learn paano so that you could budget it and you could perform it yourself. So uh, this is Homemade Engineering and see you next time.